So I have a problem. I have two of those and one of these. And whenever we go camping, this is hooked to my truck and I don't have a trailer to carry those. So I need a way to fit those in this, on this, whatever. Thought about in it, technically yes it will fit. However, wifey poo will be very upset with me. So it's gotta go on the outside. I don't wanna stick it on the roof. It won't fit up front. So here's my plan. I saw a kayak rack on Amazon that attaches to the back bumper. It's about 500 and some dollars. The other problem is I have in the back of my camper, I have this nice big door that I keep stuff in. So it needs to be removable. Also, I like to watch movies in the back of that. But, I have a projector. But anyway, it needs to be able to be uh, removable and I've come up with a plan and after a little Amazon shopping and some thoughtfulness I'll show you what I come up with so here's all what I plan on using some round tubing I picked up these two pieces of structural tubing at Lowe's I also have this piece of tubing left over from my trailer build that is one of the brackets that came off of my lift when I had it delivered some foam, I got at Lowe's, the inch and a half to two inch hitch adapter, and you're going to say, why would you use an adapter? And I'm going to show you, well, actually, I'm not going to show you, the reason is, because I actually just need the square tube and the hole, and I didn't have any, and this was the cheapest one at Harbor Freight, and then we're also going to use this setup from Amazon. This is a bumper hitch mount for a camper hitch bumper mount. I'm also going to use probably a little bit of flat steel from in here. I haven't quite picked out what piece yet, so please bear with me while I figure that out. But we're going to go ahead and get to designing. First order business, let's put that sucker on. I like the idea of running the nuts up from the bottom, or yeah, the bolts up from the bottom, mostly because I can look at a glance and tell if they've come loose, instead of like twisting up underneath. Now, um, the safe load limit for this setup is only 200 pounds, so don't, uh, don't think you're going to tow another trailer with this. But each kayak's like they're 40 pounds, two kayaks 80 pounds plus the steel. Even if it's another 100 pounds, it's not going to add up. So we'll be good. Alright, that's not going anywhere. So now, just for reference, I like to know.
mark this as the top. Yeah, just so I know not to cut too much off. All right, so what you're looking at is the two pipes that are facing out. This is what the kayak's nose is going to sit down in. Probably going to have to include a pitcher when I'm all, before I'm all said and done. Now anyway, I'm going to put a couple nice fat tacks on it and then keep moving on and what I'm going to try to do is tie see this piece is going to be vertical but I want to tie it into that piece so that it's all kind of tight you know what I mean like sitting up uh, like all reattached to each other I don't know I'll once I get going you'll get the idea but my ideas are somewhat um, different I guess we'll see I got an idea in my head now to make it happen <laughs> I'll tell you what, Chucky 2009, a couple guys didn't give this saw much approval, but uh, I really, really like it a lot. Alright, now we get this tacked onto that. Which we should figure out where the center is. We can do that. So, all I did, this is obviously a square, so I went corner to corner, corner to corner, and that gave me my X. And then just put them, laid it flat on this thing, one inch up, one inch up, one inch up. That's how I found center. So now we're ready to tack this sucker up. You know what I should have done, and I just thought of it, is I should have cleaned, picked one of these sides as the top and cleaned all the paint off of it, but hey, that's what happens. Know what I mean? Alright, so under the guys have cut twice. I'm gonna cut this at six feet. I'm gonna cut that at about 30 inches. Notch the end of this tube and then fit it all up, tack it, tack it to the other piece. We'll try her out.
Alright, I got marked center opposites. Opposite, opposite. And about two thirds of the way down. So, in theory, I should be able to go whoosh, whoosh, and cut it. Oops. No, I just kicked you. Where I slipped. Make something. So, after a little bit of fine tuning with a grinder, I got a pretty good fit up. Oop, sorry, I got not on center, but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, the oh, this guy here where it kind of got away from me. I don't know if you can see that in the light. There's a little slit here. I'm not too worried about it for what it is. Um, this isn't a roll bar. Uh, I'm not going to be using this to protect my life, just to hold on to my kayak. And I think we're not yet ready to weld this up yet because I have uh, I have something else in mind that I'm going to do. Anyway, these excuse me, burp are brackets that came with my vertical hoist when I bought it. This is how they shipped it with these brackets bolting them together. Top to bottom, bottom to top. So they're pretty similar but the holes are different in each one. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to recycle this one because the distance from here to here is just shy of the length of a ki kayak and then I'm going to have a second one behind it and I'd like to use these holes to run my ratchet strap. So these will get end welded on the end of the pipe that's the top of the T. And I think this center piece I might even recycle and make it like a mid um, strap place thing. Where you can put your hook your strap in and then strap them. Because I want I run around with at least two straps on them. But I think I'm gonna chop it up initially in the bandsaw. And then for final in the circular saw. I'm not 100% sure how much of that actually got through. Uh, my last video seems to be... Well, when I walked back up to the camera, it was just missing. Uh, the camera wasn't on. I don't know if it timed out or what. But anyways, I trimmed these up a little bit more. Made them flush and even. And the nice thing about them is they have a nice rolled side to them on the bottom. That's what I was kind of figuring whenever I slide the kayaks into it they would rub against that rolled side and I'm just gonna tack them up right now zip zip dun dun um, they're not perfect but this don't have to be um, I said this is just for ratchet straps you know what I mean
looks pretty straight. I have an idea of clamping the last piece. See if it works. Ah. Okay, I need to clamp from here to the flat plate. I was fine, huh? Yeah. Tell you what. Don't don't do anything. Good, and then you go, yeah. what do you think, somebody else, after you told me to go? Alright, where was I? Okay, so we have the pipe attached to the hitch. Sorry, but I think I forgot to film this. If I did forget to film it, you'll never see it. If I didn't forget to film it, and I'm just confused, then you'll know I'm confused. But anyway, what I basically did was I put a C-clamp here on the pipe to the plate, touching that, centered it up pretty good. And then I had my wife and my daughter come in, and while this was on the floor so it was stood up, we just got everything eyeball parallel like if you measured it might be off a degree or two but honestly nobody's gonna notice um but yeah uh we tried it out it seemed to fit good forgot to film that you'll see the final product but what i want to do now is i don't have to measure up my kayaks but some length down i want a, a, a strap to put around the bottom but i don't but because the kayaks sorry the kayaks taper that way whether you flip them upside down or upside right they taper that way so the strap would have a tendency to maybe slide off maybe pinch so I want to put something here for the strap instead of just wrapping around the pole to actually latch onto that will hold it up and I think I'm going to use that I'm going to split it right in half and then round off these corners again this is just out of that bracket I cut apart round off the two the four corners so they're nice and rounded and then I'm gonna fixate them somewhere sorry somewhere in the middle right about yay so that way I'm gonna run because I have a strap across the top a strap across what essentially would be the bottom they'll stick up they stick up about two feet above the camper, but if you look, uh, I just ain't got no room in my garage to hold kayaks right now. If you look, like the top two feet, there's not much for drag there. Oops, excuse me, burp. I'm always working after supper. Um, so I'm not not too worried about wind if anything I'm worried about the bounce but honestly getting those kayaks up getting those kayaks up the kayaks were lighter than that thing was but I still really believe we're well under the 200 pound limit of that hitch and that bumper if we could build this out of aluminum it would be a lot better a lot lighter but I ain't got that kind of a welder, I ain't got that kind of material, I ain't got that kind of time. So we're going to give her a stab with this. The wife's going to follow me on our main voyage, so that way as kayaks fall off, she can call me on the phone, stop, pick them up, whatever she got to do. Move them at least off the side of the road. 
But here's the hope and everything turns out well. All right, I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna zip everything together. I might film cutting that up though. Turned into kind of a late night last night, but I got her done. Got a little paint on her. Maybe missed a spot right there. I'll touch it up real quick. We'll get the foam on it. Get it to the back of the camper, and then uh, get ready to leave. Well, there it is with the foam on. We'll finish uh, finish loading up. And then they'll have to go on last. The paddles are in the back room there. Okay, set the camera up for the fun.
All right, I'm not gonna say we're officially at our destination because we gotta get back to our campsite, but we did just water up and they are still there. They are still tight. They didn't go anywhere. Yes, it rocks and moves some, but I don't see any damage. No crack of them to weld. I think we're good. Yep, kind of impressed with myself sometimes. All right, let's go camping. So, so one last murderification. Um, please excuse this. These aren't doing anything except making sure the tails don't fall off. But I need to run two and make it long enough. These are just cinch straps. I happen to have. Um, my wife said it did a lot of well. Excuse me. It did a lot of this when we were going down the road. So hopefully that takes care of that. I think it firmed it up a good bit. I probably could put, yeah, see they don't really move at all now. I could probably put one of those hitch tightener doohickeys on there. That might tighten it up even more, but we'll see. Let's see if it makes it home. Done after a week. Put a lot of miles on them. Let's go home. Not a scratch, and they're perfect, and I'm extremely excited to, what, about half hour, 45 minute trips? Yeah. And nothing changed, so I'm going to call this a win. Win, win. All right, that's it. Oh, and for the end of this video, in case you're wondering why I didn't ever put them on the truck, I wanted to show you that too. Because this is the rig that goes on the truck. And in here is all my firewood. So, um, yeah, if I put them up there, they'd be super high. And then I have to lift them up super high. And I couldn't put them on the sides. And I didn't, couldn't put them on the roof because then they'd hit this. And like I said, they wouldn't fit here. So back here was the only place they could go. And that's why. <laughs>